this is the data set about that uh, world bioclimatic data set. So basically you can see B01, B Bio01, Bio02, Bio03, Bio04. Okay, so it's the different types of this data set. Which, which, yeah. which satellite? Uh... Okay. So basically it's the provider about that University of California. But so basically they are create this data set using the different types of satellite image. Okay, so I just think for that. Okay. So it's the combine combine of the Landsat Sentinel or other highly remote sense they are using here. You can see resolution is the 927.6 uh, centimeter about the resolution. And it is a uh, tribal uh, biogram that derived from the monthly temperature and rainfall data set uh, in order to generate the biologically meaning um, Hellos, the bioclimatic variable represent the annual trend in uh, annual temperature, annual precipitation, seasonality, annual rain um, temperature. So basically, uh, its provider is that. Oh, this is this is present in the Google Earth engine only. Yeah, it's also available for the other sources also for the you can see, those world bioclimatic data set. I did. A climatic variable. This is the main website about this data set. So in this time, Google Earth Engine just add this data set from here. And if you anyone, you can easily download the data from here. You can see. The same bio one, bio two, bio three, bio four, bio five, bio six. Okay. So by one uh, represented the annual mean temperature, mean diurnal rains, uh, isothermality, temperature seasonality, max temperature, uh, mean temperature, temperature. You can see it provides the total nineteen or the nineteen product or nineteen band. So it's called the bioclimatic variables. All of the data set called the together bioclimatic and from here we can easily get a lot of it's already created all of these things annual mean temperature precipitation seasonality so it's, it's very easy just i simply copy one suppose copy basically these data just show the result for temperature temperature okay. The annual mean temperature just in here. Now we can get the annual mean temperature for the whole world. Networking issue. Try to open a new. Now it worked. So now you can get the whole world for mean temperature. Suppose you want to read the data for your study area. Just simply import your shape file. The shape file. Suppose I put the name such as the ROI. ROI and finally just a simply clip just use the clip function in here the clip and in this time it mainly is a single image not image collection and in this image we can get all of those information it's an image not image collection that's why it's a image we can directly use at the clip function okay, but if it will be uh, image collection then clip is not work directly 
in this time uh, directly we can use at the clip with our study area and now we can get the result only for that show the result you can use the different color about that so if suppose you can simply change the your band name and basically multiply with the scale factor is the scale factor 0.1 Okay, so you can see uh, it show the scale factor self scale factor is that 0 0.1 that's 0 0.1 and unit is the degree celsius you can get the degree celsius 0 0.1 is the scale so which band you want to use from here just simply put multiply with the scale suppose you want to show the annual precipitation just you can simply use add that this band simply copy and millimeter unit is that that is the no scale so each time you, you don't need to multiply about the scale you just simply uh change the band name and multiply dot need and you can simply change the color plated suppose in this time i want to show just i want to show the high rainfall i want to show as a uh blue color to yellow then green then put here that purple cyan get that purple and last one i want to show the high precipitation to as a blue color the rainfall now just click to the run and also need to change the mean and max value about the precipitation so we are set about that Okay, there are the two times. And now you can see the result. You can get the result totally look like that again. Totally blue color. So we need to easily change it from here. Simply click on here. And then just simply custom 98%, it works. And then it automatically showing about you can see 87 millimeter, 185 millimeter high rainfall millimeter. Just simply copy that and paste at the mean rainfall uh, 87 millimeter and high rainfall 195 rainfall millimeter. And I put at the suppose annual, uh, it's the rainfall. Let's put here to change the name. So now click there in this time we can get the proper result. And in this time it show the map dot center. So it set the center longitude radius will look like that. So in this time it's simply I'm commenting this. Click the run. In this time we can get the result. okay so now you can see the result look like that you can see and you can either identify where is the high rainfall the high rainfall region oh, okay. color, you can get the low rainfall about red color identify about that and you can check the click on the trans check about that suppose click on here now you can get about this what is the annual rainfall this is for uh, how many years, uh, Mr. Raman? Okay, so, so basically it will be start from 